Good afternoon, everybody. This is a uh, $1,000 guaranteed uh, Hold'em knockout tournament. Um, we just, uh, they just popped the bubble. So uh, everybody in here is in the money. Um, I'm currently in 94th place out of uh, 146 players. And uh, the uh, the top prize is uh, ninety eight dollars and forty four cents. I entered late as I always do. Uh, this tournament's been going on for four hours and thirty nine minutes, and I I didn't bore you with the first part. I wasn't there for the first part. Um, these uh, these tournaments have unbelievably an unbelievable number of uh blinds where you can rebuy but in any case i was uh i was uh never in in jeopardy of uh of not making the bubble but uh, i had the longest spell where I, I got no cards um and then finally i got an ace queen and uh I hit uh, two pair aces and queens, and I doubled up. So, uh, like I say, I, I was in like 130th position. 150, uh, three people got paid. And uh, now, like I say, I'm in 94th place. But uh, the difference between... Uh, 94th place in first place is uh, is is quite a bit and so uh i'm gonna take some chances and try and double up this is also a knockout tournament i've knocked out two players here and uh i've received like 25 cents in bounties this uh this tournament costs 55 cents to get in and uh in any case uh I've got a queen six off suit. I'm gonna fold, and uh, like these are these are these are ten minute blinds. There's two minutes left in this blind, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my uh, big blind in before the, uh, the, the 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 price goes up. Um, we just passed another uh, milestone here. There's uh, there's 136 players left. So I don't know what the uh, the amount of, of money is, but you know it's 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 really peanuts compared to the first place. So, um, but every one of these players ha has a, a little number indicating uh, what their knockout value is, and uh, I'm at twenty five cents. This guy's at thirty eight cents. This guy's at seventy one cents. <coughs> this guy's at twenty two cents. This one's at 38, and this one's at 50. I've got a 10-2 suited, but I'm going to fold them. I'm not uh, Doyle Brunson. Doyle Brunson likes that 10-2, but uh, I don't like it, especially in first place or first position. I'm not going to bother explaining, you know, how the the blinds and the and the button work. I'm going to presume you all know that. If you if you don't, then uh, watch some of my early videos because I go over that in detail. Um, this is uh, this is the <coughs> this is the one of few tournaments that uh, that I've uh, recorded here at uh, America's Card Room. It took me a while to get used to the uh, to the long. Uh, lengthy rebuy time and uh i mean even at uh at poker stars <coughs> it was typical for me to to enter at the last minute but uh what happens is, is if you enter at the last minute the blinds are so big that uh that you need to to play right away you know, otherwise you get uh, the blinds will will eat you up and in any case, uh, I, I, I got past that milestone and uh, 
And what I need to do is get on a heater. <laughs> I've been on a cooler for a, for a long time, other than the one hand where I doubled up. But, uh, I mean, I've just been getting terrible cards. And uh, I know I, I, I've made notes on, on, on a bunch of people today. Um, okay, now I'm in the big blind. I've got a 6'8 offsuit. Um, I have a feeling that one of these guys will raise and I'm going to end up folding, but you never know. Um, you never know until, uh, until you know. <laughs> this guy's kind of slow, uh, and, and he seldom raises, um, unlike this guy who's uh, very aggressive and I haven't made notes on these other players yet this guy over here is a bluffer he goes all in on ace jack and he raises uh, he raises but then he'll fold to a three bet so uh, you know like I say that uh, the first thing I wrote is he's a bluffer and uh, I mean there's nothing wrong with bluffing but, uh, and of course, you never know for sure whether they're bluffing or not. But uh, anyway, if I see somebody make bluff, I'll, and I know they're bluffing, I'll make a note of it because that might make a difference in whether I call or not. And uh, I, uh, I've been, I spent a lot of time making notes on players at uh, Poker Stars. <coughs> and I, I'm going to, going to do the same thing here uh, there aren't you know there's a lot of people that play at both poker stars and here at america's card room but you'd be surprised how many times you end up at the table with this with players that you've played with before okay okay this guy's raised uh I, i'm gonna fold uh, you know I remember, uh, I remember watching one of the, uh, uh, who's the, who's the guy they call, uh, the brat. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm just got a, got a mind lock here about that. Hey, anyway, um, I've got a pair of sevens. I'm going to bet the pot. <laughs> This guy, I, I have not called from the small blind in, in hours, and uh, um, and now now I'm on the button with a king ten. Um, I'm not going to call a raise with uh, two people behind me. Um, if if I had a note on this guy, I might, but uh, I'm going to fold. We're down to 123 players, and I'm in 92nd. So uh, I still have uh, 20 big blinds. So I'm, you know, I'm in good shape. But I've got a 9-6 suited. I'm going to fold some. Some folks play those, but uh, suited connectors. But but I don't, especially especially when I'm fairly early in the uh, rotation. And this, this guy raised right behind me, so that's why I, you know, I, I just don't call with suited connectors uh, in that position. I would have a, I, I would, uh, yeah, I would have an inside straight draw if I would have called. But, uh, you know, now, now these guys are betting and, uh, you know, it was just a, a good thing that I folded. Okay, here's a good example. This guy, this guy bet, and this guy three bet, three. So I'm going to make a note here. Um, he bets but folds. <coughs> uh, I'm going to fold my king three. This guy bets but folds to three bet. You see a lot of that here. Um, 
you know, the, the, the typical raise is, is uh, two big blinds. Um, very few people call. This guy he just calls, and he and he seldom raises. I don't think I've seen him raise. But um, anyway, everybody, there's different strokes for different folks, you know. And uh, I'll, I'll give you an idea. This guy's from uh, Bolivia, Venezuela. Um, another, this guy's from Venezuela. Uh, this guy's from Russia. This guy's from Brazil. And uh, this guy's from the United States. And I say guys, I, you know, have no idea whether they're male or female, but males generally outnumber females at the, at the card, card tables, poker tables. I guess that's changing, though. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. You know, you're playing against the hand, the cards. And, uh, you know, I, I can't say that uh, that men are any better than women. You know, there's a lot more men, so they tend to win the big tournaments. Most of them. Okay, we just uh, went up another notch here. I'm in 92nd out of 120th place, and uh, the, uh, the the players that are getting knocked out now are uh, are getting a dollar and 18 cents, and uh, that's for 26th place. <coughs> it goes up from that. Um, I'm currently in 92nd, and uh, if I can hold out that long, it'll be a dollar and 37 cents. But uh, you know, like I say, the top prize here is 98 dollars, and if I make it to the final table, it's at least 12. So uh, that's my goal here. Um, I can't. Uh, I'm the lowest stack at the table, so I can't knock any of these people out. But if I double up, then uh, then I'll be in a position where I can knock these people out and start collecting some more bounties. The average stack of this people that are left in this tournament is 1.4 million, and uh, you know I've got just half of that. So here I am with a 2-8 offsuit in the big blind, and uh, you know, it's, it's been happening all day. Somebody raises and, and you know, well, I'm not going to call with this. Well, this guy's going all in. He seldom raises. I have to believe he's got something really good. And my notes on this guy is he, he raises but folds to a three bet. So, uh, anyway, that's difficult. And now I've got a queen seven in the small blind. Uh, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to call this. Even, even if, I mean, I'm halfway in, but uh, I just can't can't see calling with a queen seven. You know, it's uh, cost me seventeen thousand chips to call. <laughs> now I would have an inside straight draw, but. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, you can't, you can't, you can't call it with a queen seven. Take my word for it. Well, what do you know? If I would have called with a queen seven, I'd have a straight. Yeah. Well, look at that. This guy bluffed. Okay, now I've got a 10-7 suited. I know Negranu likes these, uh, the 10-7, um, but uh, I don't, you know, I, I, I just, you know, even suited, I don't like them, and uh, so I'm going to fold. You know, I'm on the button, and so I've got, you know, I got a lot of hands left to see, and uh, uh, 
you know, maybe I should be playing. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too tight. I don't know. I like it much better when I get good cards. Now I would have the top pair in a flush draw. Um, if I had called, I think my tens would be good, but we'll see what comes up on the river. If we see the river. Now, this is a pretty strange bet. There's really nothing out there other than a possible ace three or, you know, I can't see that that uh, this guy called with uh, with good cards and he would bet that. So what are my notes on him? He bets and folds to a three bet. Yeah, okay. I've got a 10-4 offsuit. That's a, that's a fold. We're down to 112 players now, and uh, I'm in 92nd. Right where I was a while ago. 92nd will pay $1.37. Hundred twelfth is a uh, dollar and twenty four cents. So you know, I mean, it just it's just pennies. Um, I, I'm really looking to double up, <coughs> and I hope I can do that. I've had a cough for the last week or so, and uh, a little bit of a scratchy throat. So please bear with me. It will get better. Right now, this video is uh, 17 minutes, and I don't know if, if I'll, uh, oh boy, that's a nice hand, straight. Um, yeah, I don't know if, uh, if I'll keep recording, uh, you know, much longer. It, it's going to be a while, you know, with 109 players left. Um, it, it, this, this tournament's going to go on for another couple hours. Right now it's been running for, f for five hours. And, uh, I haven't been playing for five hours, like I say, but okay. We just passed another milestone. We're down to, uh, 109 players. Any anyway, right? Yeah. 108 players, $1.31. So, uh, anyway, you know, this is a boring game if you don't get cards. <laughs> and, 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 and you, ha but you have to be patient. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of guys bluff more than I do. I, I play really tight. And I'm sure all these players at the table realize that, you know. I'm just sitting here not calling and not calling, not calling round after round after round. And, um, you know, they they notice that. But I don't know whether they make notes. Uh, I presume some of these, at least some of them are making notes. But uh, here we got a little action to go on. This guy, he, he, yeah, big raise in the small blind. He's aggressive. He bets under pair. And uh, I saw him hit a third deuce. He had a pair of deuces, a pocket deuces. And uh, he was up against a guy that had an ace king, I believe. And he had an aces and kings. And this guy hung in there and he hit a deuce on the river to take the pot. <coughs> and, uh, he raises, I've seen him raise with a 10-9 offsuit. You know, I, I I, hardly even play a 10-9 offsuit. And yet this guy raised it. Now he's raised again, you know, so he's pretty aggressive. That's my notes on the guy. And once again, he's from Russia. But uh, he's up against Nightshade here from the United States, uh, who... Uh, 
who says he's got a better hand. We'll see. I like to see people get knocked out. Everybody except me. And uh, speaking of me, yeah, I had a I had a two four offsuit. You know, what are you going to do with that? If I was in, I'd need a five to get a for for a straight. Otherwise, I'm drawn dead. All righty, now we got some action here. One of these guys has something. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if both of them do. But we'll find out soon. They could both be bluffing. I wouldn't pass these two. Wouldn't put it past them. Well, he he bet half the pot, and he was called. So he had the king ten. All right. I I I don't even know if this guy had anything. What do you know? I've got an ace king. Um, this guy, uh, by golly, I think I can knock this guy out. No, I can't. Maybe, yeah, I can. I can. I can knock him out. And that would be 59 cents if I can knock him out. I think if he raises, I'll go all in. I'm probably going to go all in anyway. You know, I need to, to do something here. He's been watching me fold hand after hand after hand. Sure, there he goes. He's going all in. All right, here we go. Nine seven offsuit. I've got a king. A pair of kings. <coughs> Time for the next doggy. I did knock him out. All right. What do you know? I did, uh, 59 cents. All right, I'm rolling along now. And uh, we just moved up another notch. I got 1.2 million chips. Um, I'm not going to call. I, I feel like I'm on a heater, but uh, I'm going to fold. Well, I'd have a kings and sevens if I called. But... Uh, there's two hearts up there. I didn't have a heart. Wow, guys are dropping like flies. We just went up another notch. Um, 98 players left. $1.37. And uh, for the record, if I can find my name on this board here, it's really hard to find my name. There's a board here that lists all the players and, and their chips. And uh, I was in a tournament earlier today, and I couldn't find myself on the board. It said I was in 57th place up here, but, uh, but on the list... Uh, I wasn't anywhere near 57th place. As a matter of fact, I uh, I sent uh, uh, the car America's Card Room an email message asking why that is. Um, yeah, in any case, uh, I, I did find myself here. I've got 85 cents worth of bounties. And I'm in 56th place. Up here it says I'm in 57th, but... Uh, you know, like I say, they've got different figures in different places, and I just don't understand why. Uh, with my computer background, you know, this it should be instantaneous. And uh, but in any case, getting back to poker, uh, I've got a king deuce offsuit, and uh, I'm not in a good position. I'm one before the button, which isn't bad, but. Uh, I, I just don't call with a king deuce. If I was in, you know, better, 
better shape. Uh, I might call with a king too suited, but, uh, you know, I'm looking for better cards. Now I've got a jack nine offsuit. That's another fold. See, you know, I, 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 I play a really boring game. Um, I said, until I get some cards. And, uh, Anyway, this video has now been 25 minutes. Um, I'm, I'm in 56th place, so you know I'm working my way up there. Uh, I, you know, I, I I'm going to really try to get it to the final table and uh, and, and win this thing. But I'm not going to do it with four and a five. Um, and I certainly wouldn't be. You know, I, I I'm doing the right thing. I'm playing the good cards and not playing the bad cards, which is all you can really hope for. Now, this guy's gone all in. <clears throat> he, he seldom calls. He seldom raises. I have to believe he has something really good. And uh, this guy is sitting out. I don't know how this guy plays, but uh, yeah, well, he called with, all in with a king nine, so King nine offsuit, all in king nine, and he went out. We just went up another notch. Okay, the price of poker is getting better. Now I've got a queen ten. I'll, I'm probably going to defend this. He goes two and a half big blinds. Um, he raised. I've seen him raise with a ten nine offsuit. So unless this guy raises, which he did, um, I'm going to fold. Maybe these two know each other. But, uh, you know, I, I don't, I, I like a queen town offsuit, but, you know, it's not the best. I, I'd have a, a straight draw. And, uh, meaning an ace or a nine would give me a straight. But I have a feeling that, uh, I mean, and, and obviously right now, an, an ace of, of, of spades, diamonds, or clubs would, uh, would give me the nuts. But, uh, you know, this guy could e easily have, you know, three of a kind. Either one of these guys could have three of a kind. Or, uh, we'll, but we'll see. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we won't. Okay, now I'm in the small blind. I've got a 9 4 offsuit. And just like almost every other time I've been in a small blind, um, I'm going to fold, especially when somebody raises. You know, the, the, the longer I stay in, the more money I'm going to make. That's the bottom line. And uh, now I've got a king three offsuit. Um, <coughs> this guy raised. I'm going to fold. <clears throat> I'm on the button. I've, uh, I've cashed in a bunch of these tournaments at uh, America's Card Room and uh, a couple days ago, I posted a video where I made the final table. That was in a, uh, a you know, an even cheaper tournament than this. I think it was 11 cents. But uh, anyway, I made the final table. And uh, based on the what it cost me to enter, I, I did really well. Um, and now here I've got a king five suited. But... Uh, you know, it's just not my nature to, to call with this uh, in, in this position. 
and uh, there's four minutes left in this blind, so uh, I'm not going to hesitate. Yeah. I want to get my blind before the, the blind goes, the price goes up. Believe me, I'd, I'd rather be getting good hands yeah. and, and playing these, but uh, you know that's the. Uh, Phil Helmuth is the guy I was thinking of before. I, 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 I don't know why I couldn't. I had a mind block on his name, but uh, he, he's, I, I, I've seen him uh, advised to be patient. And, uh, you know, and, and you, you go through these, these uh, coolers where you just don't get cards and you know, it, it uh, some people end up making a boredom call, um, but uh, you just have to take your time and wait for the right opportunity. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're going to get beat, but uh, I mean, it doesn't mean you're going to win the hands that you play because anybody can get lucky. But, uh, you know, the, the odds are if you play only the good cards, and if you have the luxury of winning for them, then then you're going to do good. Um, I can't tell you how many times uh, in this uh, in this America's card room I've had good cards and gotten beat by somebody that called with crappy cards. You know, I, like I'd be sitting there with a with an ace queen, and I'd, yeah. I'd get a pair of queens, and uh, um, I've got an A6. I'm halfway in. It's going to cost me fifty thousand. Uh, I'm going to call this. And uh, I'm going to check. Oh, I don't have any notes on this guy, but he's from Brazil, and uh, a lot of times people from Brazil and South America um, call with, in, with cards that aren't that good. I'm going to check again. I think I've got this. Yeah, how about that? I didn't want to bet, but and this guy called with a raised with a King Jack. <coughs> I don't blame him for that. But uh, uh, actually, he 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 had better cards than I thought he did. But it's hard to beat aces. Um, now I've got a two five suited, and uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call this this Bernardo Miller. I've, I've I've folded every time I've been in the small blind when I played him, and uh, I'm even gonna bet here. I'm going to bet and uh, see that that's, that, that was a bluff. But when you play really conservative um, and all of a sudden you're playing, um, they think you really have something. So anyway, those were nice back to back hands that I won. Um, I've got an ace 10 offsuit, which I'm going to call unless somebody raises. I might even call if somebody does raise because, uh, um, it, it, well, that's, that's too, you know, crazy cat. He's from the United States. Um, a, a bet like that tells me that he's got, uh, something better than an ace 10. So I'm going to fold. And I had an ace 10, which, you know, the ace is nice, but uh, I would need a lot of help if I called. So that's, that's why, you know, hindsight. I believe I made the right call. I 
I need to make a note, note on this crazy cat. I want to see what he raised with. Well, he folded. So, uh, and then this this guy, I, I, he bets under pair. That's my note on him. I got a lot of notes on him. He He's a real aggressive player. Six ten offsuit. That's a fold. We're down to seventy six players now, and I'm in forty ninth place. And seventy uh, sixth place pays a dollar and fifty one cents. And uh, my my run of bad cards continues, but. You know, as long as I've got uh, plenty of chips to keep entering, uh, you know, when my when it's time to play to pay the big and small blind, I don't know what the ante is here. Um, I've got a king ten in the first position. I'm going to fold that. Some people would raise there, and maybe I should have. You know, these, these people know I play really conservative. They've all been at this table for long enough. That's why I don't like a king ten in the first position. If an eight comes up, how are you, you going to call? It's only bets. Well, I, I can't believe that the bigger the small blind doesn't have something in there. We'll see. Okay, a pair of threes. Okay, now I've got a three, four offsuit. With any luck, these guys will give me a free, free flop. I kind of doubt it. This guy, like I say, he's he's aggressive, but uh, he's up against two players that. That have more chips than he does, but there he goes. He he raised, and this guy three bet. So I'm out of here. Make a note of he three bets if he, if I can find what he three bets with. Yeah, well, it's a question mark, but. Uh, I've got a 6-4 offsuit. I'm going to fold that, but uh, yeah, you know, like I say, it's it's not unusual to, that this guy would uh, would fold to a three bet because he's he's really aggressive and he he plays uh, his cards are usually worse than what he lets on that wants people to think. And that's all right. <coughs> My 6-4 might be the best hand here. Well, no, I kind of doubt it, but I have 20 big blinds. I'm in 50, 51st position out of 71 players. Oh, look at that. He had aces. This guy, poor guy, had uh, a pair of sevens. What do you know? Uh, jack three. That's a fold. Yeah, I, I, getting back to Phil Hellmuth, he, uh, I remember him commenting one time about how he acts when he's on the button. 
uh, I believe he said he, he calls a third of the time, he raises a third of the time, and he folds a third of the time. Well, I've been folding almost every time. And uh, I, I folded a jack three of hearts. Um, and that's why I folded it. You know, I, I would end up with a pair of threes that might win, but I kind of doubt it. Okay, this guy had a 10-9. He called with a 10 -9. Well, he was in the big blind. Okay. I've got a 6-7 offsuit. That's a fold. Uh, I hate to sound like a broken record with a sque squeaky voice. But, uh... I'm going to set my limit of, of, of an hour at the most on this. <laughs> if I last another 20 minutes, it'll be good. But uh, so I'm 53rd out of uh, 69 players now. 69th place pays uh, $1.64. 59th place pays only $1.77. So, I mean, you know, I, I need to play here. Uh, these blinds are going up. Um, But, you know, like I say, I, 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 I just sit here and, 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 and I refuse to play bad cards. And if I blind out, then I'll blind out. And, you know, but uh, if I call, I've got good cards. And, you know, I, these guys at this table know that. What in the, okay, three queens. He, he knocked the guy out. Okay, now I've got an ace three. I'm going to fold. I'm in first position. Okay, more money, more money, as my friend Micah would say. The thing about an ace three is you love the ace, but you don't like the three. You know, you've got a terrible kicker. Um, if someone else has a pair of aces. And uh, the three is just not good here. Um, and and I, like I say, I was early in the rotation. I'm going to be in the big uh, in the big blind next hand. Unless something drastic happens here, or, or they, they move us to a new table, it's about time to get moved to a new table. You know, as as the uh, number of players drop down, they have to consolidate tables, and uh, there's only five players at this table. Um, look at that! That guy hit a nice nice hand there. He hit a straight. Now I've got a queen seven suited, and I might even call a, a minimum raise here. Anything over a minimum raise, and I just fold. Well, that's a uh, little more than a minimum raise. And as much as I think I'd have a good chance of beating this guy, I'm going to fold because. Uh, You just never know. He had a pair. He had a pair of aces earlier, and, I, and he raised about that amount. So anyway, I make my sixty thousand chip donation and move on to the small blind. Now I've got a clean nine, and uh, I'll call this if one of these guys doesn't raise. Now well, there we go. There's a raise. Um. I'm going to fold. I have 15 big blinds left. When I get down to 10 big blinds, it's, it, it's, it's time for me to make a move whether I get cards or not. Right now, I have the luxury of waiting. And this video is going on in 45 minutes. I don't know 
if I can last another hour. I'm 49th out of 61 in here. And uh, 61st pays a uh, dollar 77. And uh, 49th pays a uh, dollar 90. Nine five. Terrible cards. On the button. I'll tell you, if I do raise, I'm going to get some respect from these guys. This is Brazil versus Russia. I, I know that people in Brazil, they, okay, now we got a five minute break. Um, what I was gonna say is that uh, people from Brazil and, and generally South America, uh, they, they'll call with uh, cards like a 6-7 or a 7-8, especially if they're suited. Whereas uh, a lot of Americans don't. And uh, there was a guy that uh, from Brazil, I believe he was a uh, some kind of a rock star that did well in one of the uh, online tournaments or uh, tournaments on television. It was a live tournament. And uh, he was calling with cards like that. You know, a 6-7 and <coughs> somebody at the table, you know, said something about that and, and he became quite indignant. Um, you know, he says it's poker. Well, it, it is poker and uh, that's the way they play down there. Um, not all of them, for sure, but uh, uh, then there's another guy that, that uh, I can't remember where he's from, Boston or somewhere. Um, he, 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 he played the dirty diaper, which is a 2-3 offsuit. The diaper is the 2-3 suited and a dirty diaper is a 2-3 offsuited. And the uh, local games where he played, um, they got some kind of a bonus for winning. <laughs> <laughs> winning it. <laughs> Excuse me. It's coughing and sneezing at the same time. Yeah, they, this, uh, they, I don't know if it was a particular poker room or what, but they had a deal about the, uh, the the diaper and the dirty diaper, and uh, uh, and if and, and it worked if they bluffed, you know, if if they bluffed and uh, and got you out, and they, then they showed that they had the dirty diaper with nothing, uh, then then there was some kind of a a prize that uh, that they won. Um, anyway, it just it takes all kinds of. of uh, of players. Uh, I learned to play when I was in, uh, gosh, I believe grade school. In high school, I, I played, actually, I played a lot of, a lot of poker after high school. Um, you know, small 50 cent dollar, dollar, two dollar games. And uh, I, I, I played with some really good players. And, uh, I was a lot looser then than I am now. <laughs> and the guys that I played with knew that. So 
So, uh, anyway, like I say, I make notes on these players, and uh, I've been trying to get notes on these 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 two guys, and I, and I really don't yet. But uh, I presume that that they're they're making notes, and and they're they know that I'm really conservative. But uh, this video has been going on for 50 minutes. We have two minutes left in the break. And uh, the blinds are going up to uh, 40 and 80,000 in, uh, in four minutes. So uh, let's see. I have 15 big blinds. So uh, I, it's not, it's not uh, an emergency yet. But uh, I, I really need to get on a heater if I'm going to do do if I'm going to do better in this tournament. I need to get some cards. I and uh, I just hope I do. You know, like I say, top prize in this tournament is uh, 98 bucks, and for a 55 cent entry fee. That's pretty good. Um, and once again, I've got, uh, where am I at here? Well, once again, I'm trying to find myself on their scoreboard. And uh, this says I'm in 53rd place. I want to go down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am in 53rd place. I just didn't see it. I've got uh, 85 cents worth of knockouts. So, uh, you know, on a ratio of what I spent for what, it, what I'm going to win... Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, with all the tournaments that I played at uh, Poker Stars, um, there's a record of uh, what I spent, what I took in, and uh, I took in way more than. Uh, well, I mean, my my bankroll was my bank account is up to a hundred million chips at. Uh, poker stars but I was aver averaging a 19% return on my money uh, and I say money my chips so uh, if I can do that here at America's card room I can make some serious money and that's what I'm here to do just starting out with these little micro stakes and uh, as I become more and more, more and more comfortable um, with this card room, I'll uh, I'll increase the the uh, the money that uh, or I'll, I'll play in more expensive tournaments. Right now, this is what the doctor ordered for me. You know, fifty cent uh, fifty cent game where I can win a hundred bucks. Uh, for a retired guy like me, this is really good. It gives me something to do and keeps me out of the real casinos. Okay, well now I've got an A6. Sure, I shocked the shit out of Crazy Cat here. He's gonna bet. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna fold simply because uh, I don't have any enough notes on him to know, you know, how he's gonna play.
but I still have 800,000 chips. Well, now he's getting pretty aggressive. As of right now, I'm down to 11 lines. I probably should have called. You know, I had an A6 <laughs> last time. That's just the way it goes. And then it, uh, I'd have a full house if, if it was last time. Well, I'm going to make a note there. He just raised, raised with a king queen. So now I've got a note on this guy. Um, I had a jack eight. I'm glad I folded. But like I say, that these hands are short-handed, and, and uh, I haven't really made that adjustment yet. Um, as the tables get smaller with fewer players. You have to kind of lower your standards a little bit. And that's hard for me to do. Anyway, this video is 57 minutes. <coughs> um, I'm going to fold. Queen 9. I still have 10, 11 big blinds. I'm holding out. A Queen 9 is not bad. A lot of these guys would love to have a Queen 9. But um, I have basically enough chips for for one more hand and uh an ace deuce isn't going to do it okay Now I'm, now I'm below 10 big blinds. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> I finally, finally everybody folds for me. That was nice of them. I've got a king seven in the, in the small blind. Um, I'm going to call this. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to fold. I have 10 big blinds. I was halfway in there, so I, that's why I called. Now, now I've got an ace five. This guy has raised 2.3 big blinds. Well, it's 59 minutes on this video <clears throat> I'm gonna call anything here with my ace five call any
in our lives. I said, all in if I ever saw one. I'd rather bet it than call. But, here we go. What do you know? Got a full house. All right here. <laughs> I'm up to 21 big blinds. And uh, there's new grass on the field. I've got 1.7 million chips now. Um, so I'll just go back to my conservative mode of play. There's 56 players left now, and I'm in 43rd. Let's see. Yep. If I double up a couple more times, I might make the final table. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, I was doing real well in a, in a tournament here this morning. <coughs> and uh, I suffered a bad beat. Um, just after the bubble, and uh, it was, uh, I lost more than half my stack, and I wasn't able to recover. But that's the thing about this game. Oh boy, big blind, two nine offsuit. They gave me the they gave me the the pot last time. I had the big blind. Wouldn't it be nice if they did it again? Well, I'm not I'm gonna fold rather than put more money in. <coughs> I said I was gonna stop this video at an hour, but we're an hour and three minutes, and I'll, I'll keep going until the bitter end. Win, lose, or draw. I'm way too nice to this guy. <laughs> One of the reasons is he's a buffer. He's got a much bigger stack than I do. So, I mean, if I call with mediocre cards or rays... He's just going to three bet. And, uh, King six. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually more talkative, but uh, like I say, I've got a a bit of a scratchy throat, a little bit of a cough. 
I probably shouldn't have even uh, recorded this, but uh, I really am a boring player. You know, and uh, <clears throat> like I say, on my earlier tournaments that uh, that I recorded mostly at uh, Poker Stars, I was much better at uh, at uh, talking about the game and and uh, you know all aspects of the game. And so, if you're watching this, I I, I hope you like the channel and. Uh, subscribe and by all means look at some of the uh the early tournaments there was uh i won a huge tournament uh a 12 point some million chips at uh poker stars and the poker stars staff actually made the video uh, that's one of the first ones that i posted and uh i don't say anything in there because they are the ones that that made it but it shows my progression <laughs> and uh, you know, once once we were past the bubble, I got on a, a run of good cards. And uh, what do you know? Um, and, and and ended up winning the tournament. Uh, and uh, I, it was really nice of them to to do that because that was before I started recording tournaments. And uh, with Laughlin 007, hopefully you'll hear about me in winning some big tournament somewhere. I'm uh, I, I, I'm I like I like uh, the online tournaments much better than than uh, physical tournaments. Um, in 2004. I won uh, a series of uh, satellite tournaments and then the main tournament uh, to win a, uh, a ticket to the 2004 World Series of Poker main event. They paid for my $10,000 entry fee and uh, they gave me $2,000 for expenses. So I flew to Vegas. I was living in Florida at the time. I flew to Vegas and uh, I finished 428th. Okay, now I've got an ace nine. Uh, I'm going to raise. I might even three bet here. Yeah, my bet three quarters of the pot. And what do you know, I take it down. King nine. Do I get more aggressive and call this? Uh, no, because he raised. I'll continue to wait. It's hard to call a raise when there's three players behind you. Um, you just get in. <coughs> you get in between people that uh, that, uh, that you know that can can put you out of the tournament. And uh, with a king nine, that was not a good position for me to be in. My king would be good here, unless somebody's got a pair. And we won't see what this guy had. I'm going to raise with a king-queen. 
I'm tired of sitting. This could be my last hand. I'm 40th of 49th. We have a caller. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to bet. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet three quarters of the pot. Because I want him to think I have an ace. And uh, <laughs> it worked. So, uh, you know, I, I've heard some people say that they won't. They, they never call. They'll either raise or fold. And uh, I'm just getting a, li a little bit more aggressive here. Um, he's raised. I'm just going to limp in and call him. Okay, now, he has no idea what I have. He could have me beat, but he, he, he doesn't know that I'm, I'm in this to the end. He's king or a jack gives me the winner, I have to believe. And uh, he could be, he could be bluffing too. Uh, he three, I don't know what this guy does. He, he three bets, but um, I don't know what he three, three bet with. But I'm gonna call, there's my ace. I'll just check to him. I believe I've got him. I did. What do you know? Okay, so I double up. I'm in really good shape now. <coughs> that zooms me right up to the leaderboard. <coughs> if I would have raised earlier, I wouldn't have gotten him out. I, he thought he had the winner, and I let him continue to think that. But uh, And he he could very well have had the winner, but, uh, you know, when I've got ace king and I've got a pair of aces, uh, I'm going to play them. Yeah, I should have raised. I should have raised because now he can, he can bluff. He can, says, you know, he's got a deuce. I'm going to bet. What do you know? She took another one down. Okay, and more money, more money. Now they moved me to a new table. <coughs> That's all right. I'm in 14th place now. There's 45 players left. So after an hour and 13 minutes, uh, I've moved up the leaderboard considerably. And uh, it won't take much for me to get to the final table now. Ah, boy, oh boy, boy. I wish I knew what this guy had. He's got, uh, well, he's from the United States. I have to think that uh, with three guys behind me, this is a good time to fold. Hopefully my heater will continue. Um, gosh, I want it back in. But you never know. You never know. You know, this guy made a minimum raise. Uh, now this guy's going all in. It's a good bet against this guy. Chip leader at this table. No, he's not. This guy's got 11 million. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. Yeah, well. Interesting. Okay, a Jack-10 suited. Uh, I'm going to raise here. I, I'm new to this table. <coughs> I don't know what they're, you know, who's playing aggressive or not, but uh, I've got a top pair now. I raised. I'll, I'll make a follow-up bet. Top pair. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, this guy's gone all in. What neck? What do you suppose he has? United Kingdom. All right, we'll see. Oh, aces. I need a jack. Okay, so. I go down the road, I'm knocked out in uh, 43rd place. I took, uh, <laughs> that was a bad beat, um, bad bad call on my part. Anyway, I took home uh, $2.10 plus my bounties. And uh, this video is 116 minutes. Till next time. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, leave them below here. Thanks for watching.